الدرس تخوا اشقيلو قم تريشا وعد الدرس تخوا اشقيلو قم تريشا وعد منو دزك؟ 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 منو ما كان جيت لهون بس هو عم يدخل العلو الدين ايدين ايدين اذا هو حكى ايدين ايدين علي فان مالتك حبيبي اذا الفاني فاني شوف جود بوي جود بوي روح على شيطانك شوف شو يسوي عليك شو اقرب له كلب سوي او او يلا يلا كان اقرب له والله يا بدخل العلو بديني ما كان جيت لهون بس وعم بدخل العلو بديني ايدين ايدين اذا هو حكى ايدين ايدين علي فان مالتك حبيبي اذا الفاني فاني جود بوي جود بوي روح على شيطانك شوف شو يسوي عليه اذا هو بس حكى عن دينه ما كان جيت بس لا بده يتعشى العلو اه يلا اقرب له كلب شوي اه اه يلا يلا كان اقرب له اه والله يا زلمه بدخل عليه كان يبي يسوي عليه What the people are praying you're gonna come and do this? Dark, dark. Dark. You're gonna no, fucking no, no. do this. Just let go. Just go, please. You're gonna make it worse. No, 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 no. Oh, can I get up here, bro? <laughs> After consideration of all the material, I declared that it was a terrorist incident. Strike Force Petrina has been established to investigate that side of the events last night. We believe there are elements that are satisfied in terms of religious uh, motivated extremism and of course the intimidation of the public through that person's acts by attending that church whilst it was being live streamed. We will uh, allege that there is a degree of premeditation on the basis that this person has travelled to that location which is not near his residential address, he's travelled with uh, a knife and subsequently the bishop and the priest have been stabbed who are currently in surgery as I understand it. They are lucky to be alive. We understand he's about 16 years of age. He is known to police. However, he has not been on any terror watch list. 
I want to make something very, very clear. There is no such thing in Australia in taking the law into your own hands. It doesn't exist. That's for several reasons. Firstly, you will be met by the full force of the law if there's any attempt for tit-for-tat violence in Sydney over the coming days. This is a disturbing incident. There is no place for violence in our community. There is no place for violent extremism. We are a peace-loving nation. This is a time to unite, not divide as a community and as a country. It does appear to be religiously motivated, but we continue our lines of investigation. At the same time, our job is also to look at individuals connected with the attacker to assure ourselves that there is no one else in the community with similar intent. At this stage, we have no indications of that, but it is prudent that we do this to determine there is no threats or immediate threats to security. At this time, we're not seeing that. I understand that people are feeling uneasy, and that is understandable, uh, given the atrocity that occurred on Saturday and then this incident last night. I discussed this with Premier Minns this morning as well, and uh, part of us standing up here is to reassure the public uh, that the authorities are doing their work. I have every faith in the New South Wales Police, in the Australian Federal Police and our security agencies uh, to do their work. We will provide them uh, with every support. One church, it's all church, it's God's house. They're all God's houses, you know. And I was here yesterday, not to riot. I was here to help people disperse. I was calling out for people to leave, leave the area so the police can do their work because this, this isn't right. We can't let these things happen in the future, you know. We worry about our families when they come to church when things like this happen. Um, this incident yesterday wasn't just here, there was a lot of background to it, you know, a lot of emotions running high and it got out of hand, it did. <laughs> the attacker was a boy that is clearly lost. Um, is going through something for him to be able to walk into a church and stab a bishop. Um, you clearly, uh, uh, it's not even a matter of mental health or out of your mind, you, you clearly have no respect.